Many times a pet can have a medical emergency when most veterinarian offices are closed. But the Animal Emergency and Pet Care Clinic of the High Country in its beautiful new building on Highway 105 in Boone is equipped to handle the urgent care needs of your pet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The clinic is even open all day and night on weekends and holidays. If you are looking for a veterinarian to provide quality medical care, then Dr. Lindsay and his staff can provide all aspects of veterinarian care Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The clinic is staffed and fully equipped with state-of-the-art equipment for all animal emergency situations. We now offer stem cell regenerative therapy. Please call for more information. Don't forget, Animal Emergency and Pet Care Clinic of the High Country also does annual vaccinations, spays, neuters, dentals, and flea, tick, and heartworm preventative care. The Animal Emergency and Pet Care Clinic of the High Country can be reached at its beautiful Neal facility on Highway 105 in Boone or at 828-268-2833. Uh, I'm Carol from the Watauga Humane Society and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Krista. And this week uh, we'd like to uh, focus on volunteering at the Watauga Humane Society. Um, the fact of the matter is the kind of work that we do there uh, the success of it depends on volunteers. The staff uh, just simply can't handle all of the multiple tasks that um, are necessary uh, in order to care for the animals and raise money uh, in order to keep the um, society functioning. Our major goal is to care for, um, treat medical issues, feed, house, and um, love the animals and then ultimately uh, we're hoping to find them forever homes and we have lots of luck finding our animals forever homes. Uh, if you're interested in volunteering and you feel like you have a heart for animals and you'd like to help us in our mission, uh, we have multiple opportunities. Uh, it's not just uh, you come out to the shelter and go work with the cats or work with the dogs. There are numerous other ways that you can orient yourself to um, the shelter and the types of tasks that uh, we need help with. Uh, we've got a couple of kitties with us this week that we're gonna talk about in a minute, yeah, but- Maybe we talk about her right now. Yeah, She's okay. She's getting a little restless. This is Ellen DeGeneres. She's um, about a year old and she was um, a stray and uh, the person that found her, unfortunately, wasn't able to keep her. So she <laughs> she's a very sweet pussycat, very, um, even though she's a little nervous here and wants to get down, there are no claws at all. She is not declawed, obviously, but she's not putting her claws out. She loves to be petted. She loves to be, um, loves to be loved. And uh, she's great with other cats and really a very laid back pussy cat. And uh, in February, we are, uh, our focus is to find forever homes for young cats. And uh, this little Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, is uh, available from the shelter for five dollars because she fits into that category and look at her what a beautiful pussy cat she is she's what's known as a tuxedo cat and she has her beautiful white whiskers and her little white paws beautiful, green, beautiful green eyes white tummy so this is Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, and I'm going to put her back in her crate. I'll be right back. I'll talk a little bit about some of the ways in which you can um, assist us at the animal shelter. Uh, the first possibility would be fostering. And what that is, if you feel you could take an animal into your home for a period of time, uh, a cat or a dog, and give them a home environment, uh, socialize them and love them and um, uh, for a period of time. Um, that's a program that uh, I would um, recommend that you um, investigate. Sometimes people end up being foster failures. In other words, they fall in love with the animal and then they decide to adopt that animal. So that's one of the possibilities. And I'll let uh, Krista tell you a few of the other ones. Okay, I want to talk about the Bare Bones Boutique. That's the thrift shop uh, and all of the um, 
proceeds from the thrift shop go to the Humane Society. You could work over there. What you would do as a volunteer is um, just sort through things that people bring and put them out on the rack and price things like that. And uh, it's really a lot of fun. I've done it several times. I've really enjoyed mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. And then the it's fun to shop there too. Yes, I always wind up <laughs> buying something. <laughs> The dog park is right next to the Humane Society, and we need people to take care of the dog park. The lawn needs to be mowed, mm -hmm. and just maintenance needs to be done. And uh, so we have people that uh, do that. And I know, Carol, that you've been involved in some of the fundraisers and outreach, so why don't you talk about that? Uh, we, uh, many times, just recently at the Appalachian Brewery, uh, we've been over there several Friday nights um, to raise money, uh, and we bring some of our adoptable dogs, and uh, we talk to people about the mission at the shelter. And so if you're an outgoing person and uh, you like to get out into the community and talk to people about the shelter and the kind of work that we do, uh, this would be a possibility for you. There's also opportunities in publicity. Uh, we have script writers, we have people that um, contact local publications on social media and post event notices and those kinds of things. Um, Diamonds in the Rough is another program that after you volunteer for a while, you may very well be interested in learning a training method and then working with particular dogs that we have at the shelter. And what we do is we we teach them their basic skills and their manners to make them more adoptable. We've had a high success rate. Uh, some of our diamond dogs fly out the door within weeks, and then other times we have some that uh, we work with for uh, a long period of time. Uh, but they're dogs that maybe there hasn't been a, uh, much interest in because of their behavior. Maybe they're, they seem aggressive in their kennels, but they're not really. Uh, and those are the dogs that we pick to work with. Okay. And that's a program that after you are involved for a period of time in the shelter, then you can go and you can take the training. Um, the other possibility is community education. Uh, one of our goals at the shelter is to uh, get out into the community and let people know what we do and also to help people have a more positive experience with their pets. Uh, in fact, we've just started a program uh, where we're going out into the county schools and working with second graders oh, and talking great. talking to them about pet care and safety. Uh, and so that's the focus there. Um, uh, we, well, you know, and, and stay. stay tuned because soon we're going to have a program for matching senior pets with senior uh, yeah. people. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's coming up. And uh, just another reminder uh, about the cold weather. Please, please remember your pets. Take them in. <coughs> Once the sun starts to go down, the temperature starts to fall. And especially on these cold, windy nights that we've been having here lately uh, in the high country, we need to have the animals come in and be in a, in a warm, dry place with water and mm -hmm. shelter. The other... Um point that I'd like to make is that we have quite a great presence on social media and you may want to check out our Facebook page we have Twitter uh, we have Instagram and of course then you can also get on our website which is WatagaHumaneSociety.org and um, check out um, some of our animals that are adopt they're up for adoption and um, uh, keep keep advised about activities that are happening. There's always something going on at the shelter, and um, we'd like you to be a part of it. Uh, volunteer uh, orientation sessions are held twice a month, and once you take that orientation, uh, you can then find a niche where you fit at the shelter to help us. So we want to talk about our other kitty. We want to talk about Quicksilver. She's a year old, and uh, she. Uh, does not particularly like other cats. So this is a one cat pussy, one family, one cat pussy cat. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she has in the past lived with a dog. Uh, so that 
might be a possibility. Yeah. She is uh, very sweet and very pretty with golden eyes. And she's, and a she's got a sable. Yeah, color. yeah. yeah. And she has, um, let's see, how long has she been at the Humane Society? She would also be eligible for the $5 uh, uh, adoption fee this month. And she really hasn't been there that long, I don't think so. But She's been there since, Janu since January. Since January. Yeah. So this is a beautiful cat as well and very friendly. Seems to be fairly calm here. She <laughs> ran out of the crate when I took her out, but uh, she's, uh, she's again, looking right into the she's camera. looking at the camera and she doesn't have any claws out at all. So maybe this is your pussycat for the forever home to find a, a new place for her to live. Thank you very much. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Bye-bye.